What? Oh, it might be. And I it was here. I don't know who it was. One. Oh my gosh. Thank you. What's the beef man? Um, I started streaming, so that's probably what they opened with to hear is what's the beef man. <laughs> I don't know who's. There's some Hello. coffee here too. That, that I don't know be. what's going on here. I don't know. The coffee there is for Lisbon. Which coffee? There's two coffees. There was one here, and then there's one over there. The one there's not. a green one and a black one. The black, the one that's not in uh, my Where? soup thing. Okay, okay, so the green one's soup. Yes. Okay. okay. Is anyone going to be sitting right here? No. No, no, okay. We usually are not. Ah. Uh, uh, you should be quite with <laughs> I have been closing a lot by my own request because they needed the help there and I thought it could be more right. useful. So, which, you know, once I get used to it, I don't mind. But we uh, had a moment where everything just went bananas. Where suddenly, like, all out of nowhere, like someone chummed waters with customers for about maybe half an hour or so. It okay. was just crazy. There's only two of us. The third hadn't arrived yet. Okay. So this guy comes up and he orders 10 pounds of roast beef. Wow! Okay. And I That's said, kind of me. <laughs> 10, 10, what, as in one and zero, as in, you know. Pounds of roast beef. Yeah, so... I'm building a sun! It has to be thin, thin sliced. Okay. So, like, you, you lose... If you order over, like, this is, three this pounds... This is sandwich meat. Yeah, sandwich meat. Okay. This is not a butcher shop, or not, like, at all. He could have just... And I don't mind, like, we, we'll just wholesale sell... The block. Uh, you, yeah, yeah. Go for it. But there, our beeves are only eight pounds each, so I had to open, like, just two beeves and just... Oh, my God. Hard, and, and the... He had the nerve to come back several times to ask when it was done. While there were like five or six customers deep. And at that point, it's like, you know what, screw it. I have to help. You have to help other people. That's how it is. To. Ten pounds of like. Is like, it that's, is it done yet? that's something you call in if you can. Yeah. And the nerve to specify had to be thin. Like, no, you're getting what you're getting. You're getting a better part of. I don't even know how much freaking animal flesh that is. So it's I've, I've retired the Infinity Gauntlet dice because they I failed me the last few games. Aww. So I'm brought in... I did feel like shit anyway. Oh, But man, that's a lot of beef. Oh, you brought your godfather. So much Godfather. Much Harley has never failed me too well. Too badly. Watchmen. It's now become yep. And more. Orange I Lantern. I have no food. And of course, no Soviet no Russia. No. Soviet Russia. <laughs> yes. Oh. I actually have a four-part video I have to go home and watch after this, which is about um, corporations and how they're people. Mm. Yeah. They no, can't be people. They, they buy and sell. They're legally people. That's the thing. I know. Ooh. Legally, they are people. Then you can't buy and sell corporations because that's human trafficking. That's true. Also, we could execute one. <laughs> Yes. Execute Order 66! <laughs> Every single corporation is now an enemy oh of the United States! Yeah, and no. you just see Anakin Skywalker coming out of nowhere and just going into boardrooms as if they're younglings. Oh. I'd watch that. Yeah. But, um, uh, if anybody is in the chat, we're about to talk about Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite spoilers. Oh boy. Hi, so everyone! <laughs> nice ladies behind the computer. Nice ladies not moving her butt today. That's fine. So, That's okay, nice ladies. Okay, yeah. so think of the cast of Marvel vs. Capcom. Okay. And that the boss is Ultron Sigma, a right. combination of those two. How would I personally write the ending to that game because that's how the game ends. The minions save the day! <laughs> they are not Marvel or Capcom characters. It doesn't matter! You didn't specify that it had to be legitimate, just how you would solve it. Fair enough. I don't know, how would you end the game? Dr. Light and Tony Stark okay. work together of course they do. to make the Infinity Mega Buster. Oh, God! Yes. They literally, it's just the Mega Buster. Well, that makes sense why it's X instead of Mega Man. Yeah. Because he gets, it's an arm part. Yeah. But no, it's not. It's not? It's, his Buster is here. Uh-huh. And then the Infinity Mega Buster goes outward. Oh, my God. It's, it's a, he shoots his gun into a bigger gun. <laughs> That has the infinity gems in it. You know when something like Voltron gets inside another robot to drive it? <laughs> yes! Also, 
Thanos has the single best line of salt I have ever seen delivered in a video game. What's that? Oh, yeah. So he gets released by Iron Man and uh, Dr. Light. Okay. Yeah. And they're both sitting there going, wah. Basically, giving wah. him salt. <laughs> wah. They're, wah. Giving, they're giving him salt, and Dr. Light. Co Thanos comes out and goes, ah, Thomas Light. Dr. Thomas Light. Tony Stark. Mr. Tony Stark. <laughs> and it, it's nice to see other worshippers of death. You are the you are the prominent weapons manufacturers of your respective realities. Tony denies it and gets upset. <laughs> you just see Dr. Light stroking his beard going, I deserve this. Well yeah. And it, I'm like, oh god, it's great. I just love seeing Thanos throwing shade at Dr. Light. And Dr. Light is like, can't argue with that! I, <laughs> I, I gave me there! I gave robot feelings! I don't know why! Also, I gave robots feelings! And also the pleasure from killing! <laughs> also, the most the, the, the weirdest part about it is the game's oh, story like mode unintentionally implies Dr. Light is legitimately God. <laughs> really? It's accidental, but Mega Man is a robot. Yeah. Um so is Ultron Sigma. Wow. Ultron Sigma cannot use the soul gem because he doesn't have a soul. Like they, that's a major plot point that the soul gem will not work for him. Interesting. Meanwhile, Mega Man X can. Cuz I know that's been a weird thing in the in the in the Mega Man series as a whole as to whether or not robots have souls and later games do in fact say that robots have souls. Yeah, Mega Man he, he's the thing. The X series implies souls. That's right, they have souls. I'm in fact the world's greatest slaver. But yeah, but that's the thing that's interesting is Dr. Light has the ability to manufacture souls and it's point blank basically said. Oh that my doesn't god. Mean he's god. Depends on the lore of the universe he's in. Given that Capcom yeah. is being treated as a shared universe for all the games, yeah. um, Devil May Cry definitely makes the point that uh, okay. only God can make souls. Well, can good. You, can you pass the donuts this way? I'm sorry, can the. You, uh, oh, no, close it just a little bit. The more. genuine idea that Devil May Baxter Cry. Is still in there I know, just a little bit. Baxter can squeeze through. The very, That's good. Uh, the and very. That door too? Thank the, you, Sal. The very idea that, like, the real edgelord setting of Devil May Cry fast forward a hundred years and it's Mega Man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. That's weird, but also kind of brilliant. Also, we have Power Ranger cookies. Yes! Banana! <laughs> Remember when we used to be ruled by the literal devil? Those were fun times. Anyway, I'm God now. <laughs> I mean, does, does, does that make Dr. Wily Satan? No, because he wasn't created by God. No, that's true. I but the, the gonna say, technically, Mega Man is Jesus. Technically. Theoretically, Sigma could be the devil. Okay. <laughs> How fucking much does it suck to be the original Mega Man? Because it's like, ah, oh, yes, here's Jesus. And here's Jesus X, the better Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Jesus too. <laughs> Electric Bugaloo. I call it the I call it the Christ One. Oh, it is not backward compatible. Oh God. You will have to save all. You will have to have all souls saved again. Again. Oh, you them. Are they? Mm-hmm. Okay. When I was cementing my identity as a basic white bitch. <laughs> You're I what? gotta ask them. Yes. That she's a basic white bitch. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's it's why we love you, huh? Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's just out cinnamon of all the spice. and nutmeg. That's yeah, out it. of all the spice girls, you're pumpkin spice. Oh, pumpkin oh. spice. Oh, by the I mean, way, uh, depending on how we do for time, yes. I brought it only because I wanted to show James, uh -huh. but I did bring Solaris. Nice. Because okay. I wanted him to show it to him and go, this could be a giant beholder! Oh, God. Another one, yes. A different one, yes. But, um, yeah, no, I was wondering, what if he's not manufacturing souls, but he's doing like, hey, I'm gonna just take this person and put their soul into this robot. I have thought about that, because, like, that actually makes sense that he just sort Or of is it, like, the same as, like, say, growing a, ba growing a bobby, and this is a suitable soul vessel? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm yeah. just picturing... 
God is sending souls to Earth not doing his paperwork at all and going, Wait a minute, I've been putting souls in what? <laughs> no, it's... Well, okay, wait, I have to think. Because it's Capcom. Do things like yokai exist in this shared universe? Yes, because... Um, which then implies... It's Japanese, of course yokai exists. Right, which then means <laughs> that all uh, material things have some aspect of a soul. Correct. That makes sense. Yeah. Darkstalkers has played up that because yep. you have the, the soul with the, the armor, the armor soul. Right. Also, oh, I forgot about one of the other best parts of story mode. Mm -hmm. Morgan tries to fuck Ghost Rider. Really? Like, it's, yeah. Stop! Because <laughs> I have to question. Now, this may be a bit blue, but would she burst into flames? <laughs> I don't know, but it would be a real BONING! Mm. Mm, no. That one was bad. That one was bad. I'll see myself out. Yeah. <laughs> Stream, you can't see Nice Lady's face, but I assure you it's disapproving. <laughs> nice Lady is judging you. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Ah. The master died. So I had um, and the fuck you in particular died. Oh jeez. So I had the pa I, I had a lovely panic attack midstream yesterday. Oh, oh great. No. About that. Yeah. Oh god, my life is a lie. I mean, <laughs> oh I. The, the chat was empty. Okay. Or, the, the chat was empty for most of it. Considering I was streaming Mega Man, I was surprised. Usually I yeah, get. Yeah, usually you get a couple people for Mega Man. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to go through one through six. Okay. I started having the attack near the end of four. Oh no! Walked away no, near the end of three. Excuse me. Okay. Went out to to um, quick check to get food. Okay. And then st it, it kind of went away, but I still wasn't feeling great. So when we got the game, when I got a game, my first game over in Mega Man Five, mm -hmm. I used it as like, okay, we're done. Ah. I don't have the endurance. That's fine. That's a little surprising. You didn't get anyone for Mega Man, especially since the second Le Legacy Collection came out, right? Yep. Yeah. So, well, people are definitely playing the Legacy Collection a lot because nine and ten are on there. Right. I'm seeing a lot, and it's the first physical release nine and ten have gotten. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're just the digital. So I'm hoping I'm hoping that they do a Game Boy Advance version, not Game Boy Advance. Excuse me, DS. They Is probably it? will. Because I'll definitely buy that to have the whole classic series on one console. Yeah. No. I, I don't see any reason why not. Even if I really don't like Mega Man 8. Because, I mean, Mega Man is technically a good series for for um, um, affordable hand-based content. Like, it makes sense for that. Well, not for nothing, the original Mega Man run, mm -hmm. the classic series, right. didn't have a bad game. It's not like the X series where half of them are bad. Oh, fuck. It's basically with the X series. The first four. Are you good. cease your blasphemy of robot Jesus this instant. <laughs> the first four are good, and then anything after that is just questionable. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. also, stream. I'm sure you noticed Lassie's not with us anymore. Mm. Um, she's been busy, so she's basically said that we're going to make her character an NPC, and basically keep it warm for her in case she decides to come back. Oh, this, co this cookie is good. This cookie. The minion is enjoying being eaten. Oh no. Um. Ah! We didn't come here for more? I know, seriously. <laughs> Might be a thank you. No. <laughs> Gypsy likes her butt. Liz, stuff. just the, just the uh, end scene from Splice, but with minions. Uh, wait, wait, is this the one where they made? Yeah. Oh, I found out why I can't find Machuli. Really? They rebranded it as Witch's Brew for Halloween. But minions. Oh. But they don't make it in the smaller sizes. Oh. Yeah, exactly. In the minion version. Mm -hmm. Of course they don't. Nope. That'd be too now. You wanna, yeah, you wanna hit me? We can't have a nice no. Give it real. No. I love you. You wish it! It's smaller. I, I don't. I just feel it's an appropriate punishment at this point. Mm -hmm. I was gonna bring home 10 fucking pounds of beef. <laughs> <laughs> this! Here, James, this is our son now! <laughs> I'm still picturing this as like a final ham thing. <laughs> Eat, baby! It was that much. I know. Oh my God. Piles and piles of 
Hello, Mr. Wait, did you give it to him in one package or did you like no, separate? I, it? I had to do a little because there, there's no no way to package it. I was like, gonna sir, say like the bags are only to... so big. Yeah, so... yeah, the nerve to ask for like, oh, is this ten pounds? It this is a two pound bag, sir. I'm slicing the rest. Do you not have a concept? I had I don't know how many bags I gave him. It's like the bags can only fit one or two pounds. Right. And yeah. Then, I don't know probably. why anyone would get more than two pounds. Probably if he, he was probably making his own party platter. You can order them. Yeah, classic. but the we sell party platters. He they, wants to make his own. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. But why only roast beef. But it was just beef. Just beef. Just like beef. no ham, no chicken, no nothing, no cheese even. That's weird. I mean, yesterday, every once in a while, people will slice their own. Like yesterday, I saw the whole. Uh, what, what, what is it, a capicola to a nice, I mean, which is only about this big. It's like a little cylinder like this. This guy is so <laughs> slicer. It's like, okay, cool, whatever, here you go, buy a 30 pound cylinder of ham. So we do not have the apple pie Oreos? No, I apologize. They are at Target, yeah. along no. with the pumpkin spice. No, we, we saw them last week when we were over there. Yeah. Oh, shit, I should have bought you guys pumpkin spice cider. Oh, and that's cider, no, that's uh, okay. seltzer, seltzer. Oh. It's okay. It's all good. Don't worry about they it. They set that up like right Pumpkin here. spice seltzer? What blasphemy is this? You want to try it, don't you? You anger robot Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> they set the display and right across from the deli, and I have to look at that every day like... And lo, the Lord didn't look upon the world and says does not I compute. Pumpkin spice is delicious. Cinnamon and nutmeg. They're lovely, lovely spices, but calm the fuck down and don't put it in seltzer. Cider? Okay, that's cool. Cider oh, makes cider. sense. Yeah. Cider no, makes I'm sense. A, I, I misspoke. It, it is seltzer. We have pumpkin spice seltzer, which I, I Because don't cinnamon and nutmeg in apple cider yeah. makes sense. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Like, that's I would that. expect you to put that in anyway, not have to call it pumpkin spice apple no. cider. But we have pumpkin spice herb thing right now. Everything. Everything. And no actual How about pumpkin. swirls? I'm waiting for somebody to actually put out pumpkin spice pumpkin pie. That would be <laughs> that's excellent marketing. That, that's, that's like coming out with um, yeah. cookies and cream Oreos. Yeah. They did those. Yeah, they they did. did those. What is wrong with you? Pumpkin uh, spice. But it's pumpkin spice, so that means it's delicious. Are you in black leggings, a high bun, a slouchy scarf, and Uggs? Yes. Go home. <laughs> a high butt? A high butt. Oh, I thought you said a high butt. No, you are not officially like, a basic bitch until that is your uniform. Well, it's like, I, 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 I was questioning. <laughs> it's, it, All of those items on their own is no problem. But oh, yeah. The attitude makes it. Oh, oh yeah. Just calm oh, down they're, they're, about pumpkin There's little cookie crumbs on the couch. Oh. Oh, and this is it. a problem because as many, many wise posters on platforms, Various platforms have pointed out white people yeah, tore right. the world yes. apart looking for spice. Yep. Now refuse to use it and act like it's a new thing. What? Oh my god, there's cinnamon, cinnamon came something. from the Middle East. Uh, I'm not sure about nutmeg. All spice they call Chinese. Uh, I want to say nutmeg, my new world thing. What are you all talking about? All of these spices are obviously from the superior white people. <laughs> white brand spices. Okay. It's mayonnaise flavor. Yeah, it's mayonnaise. It's mayonnaise. Just mayonnaise. <laughs> Not even salt. Not even salt, just mayonnaise. Oh, just God, what? You want to give people heartburn? Jesus. Yeah, that, that, that's your palate, isn't it, Jess? <laughs> I don't. That's I you. Don't, I feel shame. I've said it before, I'll, before to Avi, and I will say it again. I don't dislike spice. I dislike heat. Yeah. There, there is a difference. Yeah, there is. There's yeah. a big difference. There is. Yeah. Go ahead and season the meat. Just don't use heat spices. Okay, so no cayenne. Pepper, yeah. Definitely. No not. ghost peppers for you. Sorry. <laughs> Unless we want to kill you. Mm. I'm playing the drums on Goby's bum. I'm playing the drums on Goby's bum. They're bongo bums. They are. Mm. Oh, Nutella Molotov is in the chat again. Who the hell is that? Weirdo. Nutmeg is not combustible. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Hazel, not. There you go. Is that what Nutella is made out of? 
Yes. Yes, hazel. Hazel. Yeah, hazel hazelnut nuts. chocolate. Hazelnuts and chocolate. And yep. it's marketed as a health, part of a healthy breakfast. It's so I think not. They, I think they stopped doing that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I don't know what to tell you guys, but like, like hazelnut chocolate it, spread like, is not a new yeah. concept and it's not a health food. No, it's like, not a health concept and it's been around for a long yes, time. Because yes, hazelnut I'm is sorry, good for you, you but when you mix it with chocolate and sugar, yeah. no. It's, it's a dessert. Like it's cocoa always, is also good for you, but then you put all the cream all and the, the sugar, sugar and yeah. the other stuff and no. Basically, basically what you should do is just, you know, make your hazelnut butter uh -huh. without any added sugars. Yep. And yeah. just add straight cocoa to it. Yeah. Without any yeah. added sugar or anything. And then it's a health food. Yep. I, I never understood the Nutella marketing for that. I love this stuff and I will eat it, but it's not. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so, Stop Avi, kidding yourself. You missed the most beautiful game that we played on Monday. What? I don't know what the name, name of it exactly is, but it was basically a beat em up themed after a specific ramen superhero. Yeah. Oh, that one. Ramen? Yes. Oh, as, in, thought... as in instant ramen. He attacked, oh, he defeats the villains by ramen noodles coming out of his crotch and tearing people apart. Oh my god. It was the weirdest hentai I've ever seen. Well, the weirdest yet tastiest. <laughs> the funny thing is, it's like wait, reverse vor. Was he, yes. was, he, was the he character a cup of noodles or was it just like a ramen man? It was, it was a man a... with a cup of noodles on his head. Okay. Oh, so it wasn't even the good ramen either. No. It was cup noodles ramen. Yeah, but I mean, no one. It's more like bowl ramen, and but for, still. And for some reason, the did game he had wear, racial stereotyping. Wait, wait, I have to ask, since the noodles came out of his crush, did he wear a protective cup? I can't remember, did he? They didn't show it. As in a ramen cup. Yeah, I know. Being funny. I know. Yeah, I'm la sorry. No. Laugh. Ha 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 But the game <laughs> was bizarre. <laughs> something I could throw. <laughs> <laughs> you have I'm plenty sorry, of dice. James, you're so unappreciated. Mm -hmm. Gene, your son appreciated the And the Entenmann's pumpkin donuts are good. They are very good. They are good. I, I don't like pumpkin that like much, but they taste like it. Yeah. They're glazed. Yeah, they're just they're glazed. It's such a nice glazed donut. Let's yeah. See it is. Yeah. In the end, isn't that all we really want? Just a glazed yeah. donut. Yeah. I am glad that pumpkin is listed as an ingredient on this. Thank God. Yeah. And also, they have cinnamon, but just spice. Not even that much of that either. No, there isn't. No. It's mostly pumpkin. Mostly pumpkin and sugar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm concerned of these giant bags that James is bringing out. Whoa! They're just minis. Yeah, and oh, also, yeah, if I get stuff. several out, it obscures what I'm actually looking for. Would it be too much to get more light? Because I can't see anything. It tastes delicious. It's salty. Oh, that's better. Time for Gobi to go back to his favorite person. Yeah, you want my cake? No, I can't reach Mama right now. I'm the Uncle Jesse. Yeah. Because he wants more cookie crumbs. Well, I'm glad that cookie wasn't hard as a brick, but sometimes those cookies can be like... They are. The frosting is rough. Ah, okay. Oh, but the cookie itself is delicious. That's good. The sugar cookie, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't it always? Pretty cookie much. frosted cookies? Usually. The sugar cookies are easy to make. Yeah. Alright. Would you like Kimberly? Or... Jason? Yeah. Jason. Yes. Okay. Eat him and absorb his power. Become the new leader. Become the new leader. What are you talking about? Tommy's the leader. Oh, oh so apparently the Ninjago movie is basically the Power Rangers movie we never got. Yep. Besides the one oh. in the 90s, because it's basically the one in the 90s, but with Legos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> and more daddy issues. Also, apparently a giant cat attacks the city. Yes. Because, uh... Jackie Chan is narrating it, and I believe it's his cat. Okay, oh, now that's I adorable! <laughs> I have to watch it. It's freaking adorable. 
I have to watch this now. I just watched the um, Monster. You're a movie star. Um, Did you watch this too? Andre's Andre the Black Nerd's review of it, and he enjoyed it. Like it's it's not it's not a great movie apparently, but you know it's enjoyable. Well, it's, it is a Lego movie, so yeah. it's meant to be. It basically what he says. It's not like the Lego movie and the Lego Batman movie. It's slightly better than direct to DVD Lego okay. movies. Okay. Okay. What he believes it happened was the fact that the Lego movie and the Lego Batman movie did really well. The, the powers that be were like, hey, do you think we could do a Power Rangers Lego movie? And they were like, no, we don't have the licensing for that. But we have this ninja thing that's sort of like Power Rangers, so why don't we turn that into a movie? And then they did. <laughs> that works. I mean, I think the TV show was fairly successful. So. Yeah. I mean, they added the TV show to... Um... Yeah, it's on Cartoon Network. Yeah, but in that Lego Dimensions yeah. game, ah. there's some of the main characters in there. Oh, okay. I still like that for the Lego Dimensions, they uh, wrote a new uh, portal song for it. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. I also love that they actually hired Peter Capaldi and Jenna Coleman to do oh. the voiceover work for the story nice. mode. Nice. And you have Peter Capaldi telling off Batman. Good. Good. Well, I need samples. <laughs> the song is oh, largely... Uh, GLaDOS trying to make you jealous because she insists she hang Batman comes and hangs out with her oh all the time. Oh my god. <laughs> Literally upside down like a bat? No, I, no, it is that he comes over and they she have cake and it is very oh, real and it's very delicious. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Shall we begin? Mm. Those poor Power Rangers. You're eating their brains. Yeah. I'm eating my girlfriend. <laughs> nice! Nice! Oh, baby! <laughs> uh, this is an all-ages stream, Sal? Yeah, you might want to take This was an all-ages stream! <laughs> yeah. We already talked about war, so... Yeah. Oh, is it only okay when it's straight war? Yes! Look, war? <laughs> I was eating the male minion, yeah, though. War is fine! Look, 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 okay. Sexual lovemaking. Uh, war? <laughs> war is in Disney. So therefore, Jungle Book. Mm. Oh God, that's true. Why is this? A thing? Jungle Book with hiss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ergo, uh, it is now a it is, is officially child friendly. That's horrible. Griffin. <laughs> I actually have a friend who, when she watched the Jungle Book as a child mm -hmm. and got to the snake hypnosis part. Yeah. Didn't understand why she enjoyed it so much. <laughs> and now she enjoys it, and, and she now, knows why. She knows precisely why. She Is it the hypnosis part? Or? The hypnosis part. Okay. Why does Snake have hypnosis? I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm analyzing this yeah, some 40 stop. years after the fact, but why would a snake hypnotize people? I think it's supposed to be a reverse shape snake tremor thing. Okay. Get them to hold the heck still so it can eat. Well, no, I know why, but I mean, what's like the narrative logic? Why would a snake have that power? It's, okay, it's reverse snake charm. Yeah. My God, that's all I need. Okay. It's like I like yokai watch. I need the flimsiest of crevices to buy <laughs> into that. All yokai watch needs is a pun. There is yeah, literally like, one. That's why I'm enjoying it. Like yeah. there is no demands placed on you, or no demands. There is literally one called a par a parakin. Which, remember that, like, the L and R pronunciation, I think Cell's picked up on what the pun is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, a pelican or a parakin, yeah. and it is a pelican oh my God. in, like, an uh, Elvis jumpsuit and huge cowboy hat, an American flag bandana, and cowboy boots. And its power is that it makes people act American. And just one of the American... Yoga. No! That's okay. the thing, it's not an American yokai, it is a Japanese yokai that's like a reverse weebu. Oh, no I was so glad. <laughs> we deserve that. Oh yeah, no, yeah. we totally do. I so anyway, the game. <laughs> is the, the yokai watch kind of drat, since especially when they introduce the American versions, does some which seems almost mean-spirited mm -hmm. dragging yeah. of Americans. So Hungramps is like an old man that's shaped like a sweet potato. And he makes people hungry, and in the Japan he just wears a kimono and everything. Okay. 
his American version is like twice as big and round and fat and dressed in like a flannel shirt and overalls. That's good though. That's great. Okay. God, you okay watch is weird. Okay. So, where are we? <clears throat> we just got oh, our asses handed to us. Yes. And we're on Hell yeah. Murder Island. We just got there. Hell Murder Island. So, anyone remember who was in what boat? Um, I was with the vampires. Okay. And I had, um... She was alone. No, I ended up alone. Yes. <laughs> um, oh, I was so with, up. um... David originally, and we did both fight the, um, the thingies. Cyclops that Sylvia tried to seduce and failed. <laughs> <laughs> see, it's come, see, it's a good thing we mentioned his, because it's all coming back around now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming back, it's all coming back to me now. But Thanks, we had, nice lady. <laughs> but we had touched land, uh -huh. and Cathil was somewhere else. Yes. Yeah, because I tried to divert the Cyclops' attention by jump by swimming away while when I was knocked into the water. Right. Um, so I was still knocked into the water, mm -hmm. separated from you guys when shit happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that seems to be a good place to open. Okay. We'll have Cathiel washed up on the beach. Damn it, Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> and sputtering up water. <laughs> you've, you've been passed out for several hours. And you vaguely hear that there are some voices chattering around you and some snickering to each other. I'm getting a Gulliver's track. <laughs> oh, really? No. <laughs> no. You can't complain. There were literally giants at the last time. <laughs> Sylvia <laughs> tried to seduce a giant. We did your thing. <laughs> Oh, okay. Can we take your nice ladies thing, huh? Okay. Not in a child-friendly stream, honestly. No, no. That's a different kind of game. <laughs> okay, no. That's um, our after uh, dark version. Uh, okay. Now, uh, I guess what I'll do is I will open my eyes and see who's around me if I'm hearing these. So voices. are you just openly waking up, or do you want to play dead? Or anything? Well... Not that I'm trying to influence the decision. No, I know, just, I know. I'm, I'm weighing my options. Yeah, it just seemed like a natural consideration. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna open one eye and smuggle it around. Yeah, just very... <laughs> keep it open, one eye, as subtly as possible, without moving the rest of me and looking around. <laughs> Alright, so roll a deception for this. Which dice? D20, as okay. usual. I'll use my new blue one. The accomplishment. Yay! You don't have any skills in deception, it's just straight charisma. Uh, my charisma, as you know, oh. <laughs> is, is not seven. good. My charisma is seven with a modifier of minus two. Oh, that's right! <laughs> the feels our little, ang our, our little shouty blizzard. <laughs> that's why she has the, the, the uh, push pin in my meme pictures. <laughs> That's a four. So yep, two. Minus two. Um, that failed. So, so I just believe, and I will very carefully open one eye, <laughs> and just bulges open and like starts blatantly swiveling around like a chameleon. <laughs> I'm picturing like the scene from Jurassic World where the eye just opens, no. yeah, and it's looking at these poor schmucks. Oh god. And could feel just saying to themselves, I wish I could just do this normally. <laughs> What? No, you, no, 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 Cathil is sure that, yeah. <laughs> no, Cathil thinks they're being very, very... just very... like, ah, yep, yeah, blasted it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> and you hear that there's basically, you see that there is... A, effectively, campfire out here on the beach. And there's three figures seem to be about larger than you, but kind of scragglier and more sinewy. Mm -hmm. And they're chatting to, uh, to each other there. 
So how long do we have to wait? I'm really hungry now. Shut up! We'll uh, eat. I, I need to get the... Goblins mm, from we need to get the water. Yeah, I was just what about it's... to ask, are there any other dwarves around? <laughs> Go on. It's not going anywhere. We can yeah. wait for it. Oh, I'm so hungry. It's so wild since we had front bait. Shut up! There, it's the don't one person doesn't just wash up on our beach. They're gonna have to see if there's gonna be more of them before we eat anyone. You gotta be smart about this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thanks. See? He gets it. Why can't you? <laughs> Are they the hyenas from the Lion King? That's true, that's where my mind went to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you astutely, uh, getting a good look, recognize that these are three gnolls. Oh boy. Oh. Crouched around a fire, and yes, these are hyena people. Mm. Oh boy. Mm. Okay. So they clearly don't know that I'm alive. They're not noticing that I'm mm. staring right at them. <laughs> Uh, their back turns, one is like really impatiently poking the fire, okay. like far more than he should. Mm -hmm. And another one starts slapping at them, and then there's a struggle to get the poker away. Okay. The poker's just a pointed stick. Okay. So... They are... What little clothing they have is rags that are very long-worn, and there might be a few remnants of jewelry that was made out of... Bone, but it's long since been basically torn apart by outdoors living. Okay. Um, is there anything else that I can take notice of? Okay, Ro let's roll perception. Let's see what we like can get. Like them and the general area. Fifteen. Fifteen. And what else do I need for that? My int? Or, uh, know, wisdom. Is. Wisdom, which is minus one. Okay, so 14. fourteen. That's not terrible. <laughs> yeah, that's a decent one. Well, okay. you're on the shore. There's a crab scuttling up next to you. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm I'm the sorry, crab I'm somehow I'm conveys with a look with its little crabby eyes. Is like really? <laughs> oh, it's funny. You think you're fooling anyone? <laughs> and then scuttles away. <laughs> I don't know why, but you, fuck that crap. you're not sure whether this is real or if this is just, you know, I might have been auction deprived <laughs> from that water, but. <laughs> Damn it, Baxter. <laughs> okay. There are, of course, several uh, rocks about fist sized around. And, oh, the other thing you do notice is that your gear is missing. Well, that sucks. So. Yeah. And, and from drag marks there and your distance away from the water, you've actually been dragged further up past the tide line. Okay, and I can't see where my gear might be. There's a bunch of what can only be described as bindle sacks, and one of them is like laughing to itself as it's going through what was clearly once your pack. And I now, remember. and now has, uh, and the one that was basically yelling at the other one that they're not going to eat you okay. right away has your axe. Okay. Well, I was initially thinking I might run while they're distracted or throw a rock to distract them, but if these bitches got my stuff, yeah, that not okay. And they're not. <laughs> Hello, Norm's fun. Hey Norm. Hi. Hey Norm. I can't see the chat. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Don't fight. You keep looking at that. Hello. I don't know who Norm's fun is. Well, we can say hello anyway. It's I'm only like, polite. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hello. Um. So they have my stuff. I definitely cannot let them make off with my axe. <laughs> so they're not gonna eat me yet. Uh. The fight's thus well, resolved, so for the host. and the other one has been sent off basically to dig up some grub, of which he moves okay. approximately 12 feet away, hunches over, and starts digging like a dog straight down into the sand. Great. Ah, crap. Smooth okay. move, excellent. Uh, napkins? Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. 
<laughs> well, Dalton's dead. <laughs> just out of nowhere, giant bull coffee just drowned him. Well, yeah, this is off. the Tomb of Horrors now. <laughs> Okay. Roll um, a saving throw. Doesn't matter. You're dead. Yeah. The one who went digging doesn't have my axe, does he? No. I'm just trying to remember which one had my axe. And which one has no, my and sword. your armor has been left on. They just okay. well, took away anything loose that was on you. Okay, so my gauntlet is still on me, too? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm thinking I can take a chance on taking them <laughs> to get my stuff back. Um, this is the quintessential Cathil. You guys are larger than me. I can take it. <laughs> I still have my gauntlet, my armor. I have I a, a gauntlet, chance. a rock, and a judgmental crab. I can take them. Uh. Oh God. Yes. Crab people. Crab people. Um, that just makes me think I should take. The crab has Snatch crawled crab over your crumb. tail <laughs> and is now seemingly resting at a sort of rock that has a bit of a tide pool in where it's hunched down. And you could swear like it's hunched down to watch what's going to happen. And it's just doing its usual crab thing of sifting through the dirt and putting the tritus into its mouth. <laughs> okay, so... Good crabs. Fuck this crab. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. You said that they were... I thought you said initially they were not much bigger than me. Are they bigger? Not much bigger, not much, but they much are. Bigger, yeah, okay. Okay. Um, so, what can I do? Um, Throw the crab at him. I was thinking that. <laughs> like, Fuck you, crab. <laughs> what are ten pounds of crab? <laughs> Ten pounds of meat is just the running gag for today, isn't it? That so. has to be something built into the game. You can just hit someone with like ten pounds of whatever. Ten, a slab of meat? Day. Ten yeah. pounds. No, no, slice. I'd, I'd like to snatch up the crab and throw it at them. <laughs> Why not? D20, right? Yep. Oh. Eight. Uh, but Dex? Yeah. My dex is modifier is three. So uh, eleven, eleven, which is a partial success. Oh. <laughs> There's something I really want to have happen. Oh, oh no. I'm tr I'm literally trying to decide what would be the funnier thing right now. <laughs> Always a good DM a good thing to hear. Yeah. You're a gift. <laughs> All right, to settle it out, let's go with what the targets are. Okay. There's the one hunched over digging. Okay. There's uh, the one by the fire, and there's the one that has your axe. I think I'm going to chuck it at the one rifling through my stuff. Okay. Like, just kind of roll up, snatch the crab while I'm getting up, and chuck it at them. Okay. Hopefully aiming for that. <laughs> but we'll see. Yeah. So, the crab it hits him in the back. <laughs> and he looks down, sees the crab, which is now seemingly very panicked, like <laughs> scuttering away. <laughs> And it's like jumping over, going after it, and poking it with a stick, trying to flip it over, and it's playing with the crap. Okay. <laughs> Good. Good. Have I been noticed by anybody else? Have they actually noticed me? Senpai! No. <laughs> I don't think it would be somebody. Well, please. for reference, the perception of the one chasing the crab was a failure. <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> Crabs are just falling out of the sky hitting them. So, I, I'm just asking because he went after the crab. So said, what are you <laughs> come from? What are you talking about? Of course crabs can't fly. <laughs> no, it's never... That happened once. It's never gonna rain crabs again. Never again. <laughs> Yeah, that was like a water spout or something. I don't think it naturally rains, Craig. <laughs> what crab is it rain? It didn't happen twice. <laughs> it's raining crabs. Oh my God. Hallelujah, it's raining crabs. Oh God. Is it Mr. Krabs? Hey! 
<laughs> hey, Snip! What? <laughs> I got an idea! Like, uh, as a, what do you call it? A, uh, um, uh, uh, like, compromise? Compromise? Good. <laughs> Loose enough, what is it? So, what if we just, like, bandage up one of their legs or something? And then we can, like, hack it off? before they wake up if they're still alive and, like, we got the fire and everything, and we can just tell them that they, like, lost it in the ocean, and then we can eat the leg. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> so they still haven't noticed Cathiel at this point? No, they're busy with their <laughs> own dynamic. Okay. Yeah. I really am just picturing the, the, the trolls from The Hobbit here. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, so, they haven't noticed me. Well, if you've stood up now. Well, I mean, I did say I was getting up, but I guess I could stand Oh, okay, no, well, you're getting up, but it says, <laughs> The one in charge, like, has seen you getting up, and, like, one has, like, moved to make sure that the axe is behind her. <laughs> <laughs> and the two is, like, looks and kicks sand in the direction of the other one talking about eating one of your arm. <laughs> Saying, I mean, they could talk if we take one of their legs. Or, oh, come on, let me nibble on a picket. <laughs> about the tail? Those grow back, right? <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> oh! <laughs> um, you guys are rude. <laughs> we was talking about someone else. No, you weren't. <laughs> yeah, the, there was another lizard we found. Bullshit. <laughs> Did you already eat them? Because where are they? <laughs> did, did, did you eat my father? <laughs> They're hiding. <laughs> because they stole our treasure. <laughs> That's some bullshit. That we you got my stuff and I'd like that back. <laughs> this your stuff? Because we found it. That's my stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I think we found it and it was on our beach. I think that um, it's not Finders Keepers because I'm right here and that's my stuff. Okay, real quick. How far are we from this? Are we hearing the scream? No! Nope. <laughs> Damn it! I want it in on this! Oh god! <sighs> okay. So, you're new here. You're the new fish that washed up. So here's how it goes. Um, no, I just had to Thanks, fucking Norm. kill a knife shark on my way here. I'm not gonna put up with this. Just give me my stuff and get out of my face. <laughs> uh, no, I think this is our stuff because this is our beach. I really don't care. <laughs> what the hell's a knife shark? <laughs> <laughs> it's a shark with knives, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, how would it hold the knives? Its hands are the knives. <laughs> Forget about the shark! <laughs> Is there any of the shark we can eat? Uh, no, I just have the knife hands and some teeth. <laughs> but the hands are, like, made out of meat? They're made out of knives. <laughs> no, they're not made out of meat. <laughs> Oh, uh, that explains this that I found, and he's holding up the shark hand. Yeah, that the was The shark it. knife hand that now, again, it was mostly just bone since it was a tooth thing, but it now clearly has gnaw marks on it. Oh my god. Dude, I was gonna make something with that. Well, you left juices on it! I literally just killed the thing, I didn't have time Who carries to bones if they're not meant for chewing? Who uh, does that? I do, because I'm gonna make it into something else. Yeah, and I made it into a chewy. And that was mine, and you weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> you have no sense of manners, do you? Is begging the question. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Let's the end see. of the story here is that you guys have no sense of manners. Well, you keep interrupting me. That's because you were going to eat me. And you I'm don't get a chance for me to be polite. We now. were very much not going to eat you. Not all of you. Shut up! <laughs> you were literally just talking about eating me. Sh that was God. He is very dumb. <laughs> and you were considering it! 
I did not say yes. But you were considering Would you prefer it. that I did not consider it and just said yes? I would prefer you just give me my stuff and we'd be done here. Because I gotta go. Okay. No, 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 no. First of all, I have the axe now. That is my axe. And you are not going to be using it. Okay. You are not going to be keeping it. You're going to be giving it back. I have the axe. And I have... Two, and I got these two idiots here. So you're outnumbered. So I think that if you don't want to be eaten, you're gonna answer our questions and respect the fact that you are in our house speech. You know what? When you have a visitor over, you don't talk about eating them, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. But. You talk about eating your visitors. What? Somebody you say you, you're going to talk about now as a guest, so you talk about eating your guests. Is that what's going on here? I'd be lying and say that it wasn't normal to consider it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Again, no manners. Why should I be nice to you now? <laughs> okay, one, axe, two, idiots. <laughs> <laughs> one, don't care. Two, I have to go. Three, just give me my uh, stuff. <laughs> Why are you in such a hurry now? Let's go to that. All right. All right. I'll tell you if you give me my stuff. We'll consider it. I'll consider it. Gob, give him the chewy. Oh, <laughs> get it! There was over the knife hand to you. Well, at least I have a knife hand now. That's something. <laughs> Technically a weapon. Technically Zelda. A weapon. <laughs> you got monkey's paw with knives. Uh, yeah, I'm just looking at my knife hand and frowning and picking at his like though. Unbelievable. It's very covered in slobber. Uh, unbelievable. Anyway, I got a party here. Okay. Uh, woo! <laughs> hey, look at that, there's a party! Finally, something's gonna happen on this island. <laughs> something's gonna happen! Yeah, so, yeah. Who's so, who's all invited to this party? Who's bringing the drinks? What? Hoistovers! <laughs> the ten pounds of Can we accept Oh man! I hope the meat's thinly slapped and I don't feel good. Look how it feels like lacing around my teeth, like going in and out, making floss out of it. <laughs> oh god! Wait, 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 wait! More importantly, so you came here on a boat. Did I? <laughs> Throws over your alchemy patch there. Takes my alchemy patch. I'm gonna just put my shit back on me while I got him. Um, yeah, I came on a boat. Okay, now you washed up, but you're not with everyone else. So, did you come here the usual way, or do you have a way off this island? I don't know, do I? <laughs> <laughs> These are good negotiations, I like this. Yeah, I know that, yeah. Yeah, eat it. the leg and everything's starting to feel really appealing. <laughs> I don't know, man. I got information you want. You got my stuff, which I want. This sounds like a fair transaction to me. Look, maybe we got off on the wrong foot. Really? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. The one you wanted to eat? <laughs> no, the other one. Shut up, God! <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to introduce us. Let's start over. I am Snit, and these are my idiots, Gob, hey, and Nigel. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Thank Hi. you, Nacho. <laughs> and? 
Your name? I, I, that's how the introductions go. Name? Decide not to eat guest? Ugh. Talking! My name's Cathiel. Okay, Cathiel. Uh, so, we've been stuck on this island for a while. Uh-huh. And it would be really great if you knew a way to get off of here. Well, I can't imagine why you would wonder that, what with all the freaking Cyclopses out there. Uh, hmm, well, I don't know. I mean, if you're gonna be cool, maybe I can- We're cool! Are you? Yeah! Are we're you? very cool! Yeah! Yeah! No, 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 let me, let's just go over this one more time. Um... For context, no. while they're insisting they're cool, Nigel has just stuck his tongue up one nostril and then <laughs> <figure> out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's just go over this one more time, since you said you're cool. Um, you dragged me up out of the water, clearly. Uh, that you're might, welcome. No, 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 I'm not done. <laughs> I am not done. We no, rescued. I am not done. <laughs> okay, dragging me out of the water onto the beach might have given you some cool points. Would have. Um, except, what was that? You weren't going to eat me yet, yet is the operative word here, um, until you found out- That's better no, than no, no, a no, lot no, no, of no, people, no, can. no, no, I'm not done! <laughs> we need, like, no. a crab right away, they're not cool. You're what? cool, though! See, what's not cool is you're not letting me finish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Now, see- the only reason you weren't going to eat me yet was because you wanted to see if there were any other reptiles around, because you haven't had reptile in a while. Is that, was that what I heard correctly? Is that what I can infer from your earlier conversation? And then you also proceeded to have a conversation on the merits of cutting off one of my legs and lying to me so you could eat it. Does that sound like a cool person to you? So... Oh, and that's not even forgetting the fact that you looted my body and took my stuff and tried to keep it for yourselves. Like, that don't seem like very cool people to me. So, how are you cool again? Out of all of us, I'm the coolest here because I'm cold-blooded. <laughs> well, for one, we rescued you from the surf, and yeah, crabs were gonna, like, just eat you and shit. Yeah, sure. Yeah. The okay, so, if the crabs weren't gonna eat me, you were gonna eat me. Uh, it seems like I'm still gonna get eaten at some Not point, all sooner of you. or later! Oh, wait, 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 there's one thing I wanna clarify. Not yet all of me! What's still thing I wanna clarify? Me. Out of curiosity, if we had done the leg thing, would it have grown back? No! <laughs> oh. Well, okay, that's a lot less fair than I thought. Yeah! Maybe! Well, this is why you ask questions you don't know! Now we're medicated. Yeah, you weren't gonna ask them until now, were you? <sighs> okay, seriously though... Somewhere Gorn is just getting itchy. <laughs> you would have died if we left you there for the surf. In our defense, we've been here a really long time, and there is not a lot of good game on this island. Yeah, unless and you're willing to take down some Cyclopses, I guess not. But I wouldn't really know. It's my first time here. Yeah, <laughs> you tried living here for... Uh, not sure how long has it been? <laughs> yeah, good oh Christ, that long, really? <laughs> huh. Alright, I mean... I guess we should do something to commemorate, then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Can you give me my stuff? Would that be cool commemoration? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so it's been a long time without any good meat. So that is a mighty temptation. I think you can understand that. Listen, I will be willing to let it slide if we don't have this problem again. If you don't try to eat me from here on out, and you're cool, I'll let it slide. Alright, let's roll some persuasion on this one. Oh no! Yeah. Oh jeez. 
Fuck. That's a nine. That's a nine. I'll give you advantage on it. Okay. So I, I think you've role played your way into a good place with them. <laughs> Different to, yeah, you have to roll again. I roll again for At least one of them feels desperate to prove that he's cool to you now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try it. You might lead to more food. Yeah. Or at least getting off the island. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I so. did come on a boat after all. Yes. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right, you know what? Uh, so Snit takes the axe and throws it back to you, and you get back the rest of your gear. Yay! And Snick goes back to what her previous weapon was, which is basically a spear that has a head that looks like it was made out of, like, a fishbone or a sharpened piece of horseshoe crab shell. Cool. Alright, so I'm just gonna check my stuff to see if anything went missing first. Okay, so, one, all the rations are obviously gone. Obviously. Ah, oh, so I see you helped yourself. <laughs> Still hungry though, Hawks. You know what? We do not have to defend ourselves. <laughs> I'm just asking, seeing as you were apparently going to take my leg. Anyway, um, so now that I got my stuff, if this is the only thing missing, is the Russians the only thing missing? Um, I gotta say that maybe a few of the alchemy things look like they've been drunk. There is nothing in there that you're aware is potable. <laughs> so. <laughs> hey guys, those weren't drinks. Yeah, we figured that out. <laughs> and I then we like figured no that out quick, and then got like manually moves one eye that started <laughs> drifting over to the left. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you were out for a while. Yeah. I almost got all my vision back. <laughs> Everything's still shades of purple. <laughs> oh, okay. So those were useful, but I guess I'm gonna have to make. If you want to see purple. No, <laughs> I don't want to see purple. Anyway, I will tentatively let this slide. We do have a boat. Uh, it's not here immediately because we got dropped off, but it will be back at a specific time, and we got to make sure that we're here for it, or they will leave without us. Well, if you could get us passage on this boat, I think we could overlook that whole getting upset about arm eating thing no, see? and say that no, 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 no. <laughs> and say that yeah, we can offer our services as gods. Can I ask you something? Giving about? our extreme expertise of living and surviving here. Cool, but can I ask you something? Like both of them look to <laughs> Gob and Nigel look to Snit. <laughs> Can I ask you something though? Yes. Um, um, would you or would you not be pissed off about somebody talking about eating your body parts that don't grow back? Would you or would you not be pissed off about that? Gob suddenly looks off. <sighs> Gob? Sorry, I just, <laughs> I just suddenly really miss my dad. Oh, God. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Now, yeah, okay. I mean, that's, yeah, natural's right. That's kind of normal. I don't know why you're so upset about it. Maybe we miss some things by being out of touch on this island for... I, I, Maybe, but you know, also it's generally common courtesy to respect the fact that somebody will be pissed off about somebody else stealing their limb and then lying about it. Just something, just food for thought. Anyway. So um, to clarify, it's the lying that you have a problem with. It's all of it. I have a problem with. <laughs> okay. Well. Then like God. All right. Well, I'm uh, I'm confused again. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Whatever. That's you sure they don't grow back? I had heard that. Like, you eat a lizard leg and it grows back. Okay, seeing as I am a lizard person, and I did come from, you know, lizard people village, uh, and people have lost their limbs and tails, I could say, uh, no! <laughs> it hasn't happened to me specifically, but I've seen it happen to, you know, my fellow people. 
Well, I was gonna ask, have you tried? But that mm. seems like that would be a bit stupid. Yeah, maybe. You th <laughs> just think. You think? Anyway, let's end this conversation right now with that particular topic because you know we're not gonna get anywhere if we continue that. Um, let's just agree we're gonna help each other out. Okay? You help me. I'll help you. All right, and let's set down some ground rules. No, no. eating each other. All right, that's more than fair. <laughs> and no hitting people with axes or laying eggs in their chest cavities. Who told you that lizard people lay eggs in chest cavities? Oh, no one told us they didn't. They don't! <laughs> well, now we know. Okay. Okay. All right, listen, listen. So that I can give you some assurance, if you have me on your team, I'm not gonna do anything to hurt you because we are a team effort now and it's a good idea to keep the team together and working together, right? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Great, so let's work as a team now. Um. You're going to help me get through this forest so I can find the rest of my party. Um, it is a fairly big party. I'm afraid you will be outnumbered if you decide to try something. Uh, but hopefully that won't become a problem, will it? Nope. Great. So, and I'm just kind of looking out across the water trying to look down the coast. And I'm seeing them. Anyway, uh, they had boats, rowboats. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, Nigel. What? Well, Nigel says that this is the rocky coast and everything. If they uh, had rowboats, they would have been further down to the south of the island where you could more easily make uh, landfall without being dashed. Okay, then that's where we go first. Great, thank you. Oh, and uh, since this is apparently a sensitive subject, would help out when we meet the rest of your friends, maybe not bring it up the leg thing. Listen, I won't bring up the leg thing as long as you don't try to eat us again. You don't, okay. you don't back, you don't backstab me here in any manner, we'll be fine. Right, no one is gonna backstab you. Mm. He, like, looks behind and like Nigel is like <laughs> clearly hiding a rock behind his, uh, <laughs> chest now. Okay, do and you Snake gives him a very, gives him a very, no, seriously, guys. Seriously. Yeah, seriously, if you come at me, I do have bombs. You will be blown up. I will take all of you with me. So, let's not have any problems, okay? What the hell's a bomb? <laughs> a bomb is something that goes BOOM! <laughs> and it blows things to pieces! If I set it off, your arm will be down there, your other arm will be down there, your leg will be down there, your other leg down there, your guts splattered all over the beach. Gobs raised a paw. <laughs> yes. Would they grow back? <laughs> no, because all right. <laughs> you'd be dead is the point I am making. Yeah, that tracks. Great. <laughs> okay, then. Why don't... So, I mean, usually to move from a fire spot, we just wait till morning, but... I mean, that is logical, but I am in a hurry. I do need to find these people. We are on a mission. All right. Nigel, prepare some torches. We're gonna brave the woods. Fantastic. So... Let's head back to the other beach now. Oh, okay. I'm allowed to wake up from my slumber. Yes. <laughs> so elsewhere. So mm. let's see. You, you nap, not quite. Oh no. Have. I was gonna hang out in the other room, but it's oppressively warm. So I'm back here with you. Oops. You have uh, your hirelings of Axtor the Mage and mm -hmm. Smythe the Holy. Oh, no, <laughs> those dumbasses. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of shtick this game. Um, <laughs> Sylvia really? and Greg. <laughs> David Vespery and... Huh, you... 
have Bozar and the two vampire retainers. Yes. Fortunately, since it's dark, have put down the hoods, and they have brought the rowboats up there, moored them, and are unpacking some of the supplies to make a camp. Okay. Well... And I'd say that they've made the camp sand and it's the discussion. All right. So, old Bean, what do you figure our next plan of attack is? Well, we should find a field first. And then head into the interior so we can do the ritual. Sylvia is, like, clearly hyperventilating and has her journal out. <laughs> and after shaking it dry and everything, is doing the two pen writing to it in there. I think I've had enough venture for a while. I'll... Why don't Greg and I sit here with the, and watch the camp? And we can protect the boats and make sure they're not eaten by some sort of horrible boat-eating monster. <laughs> okay, that works for me. Four. Cyclops can't I mean, seduce. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair. Yeah. Alright. And play behind. So, uh, I guess. How are we gonna find her? If she survived, she got washed away. We should probably just walk the perimeter of the beach. Makes sense. So, lead the way. Alright, uh, how many do we have? Four? Um, well, are they coming with us? Um. It's like discussing. Yeah, they're gonna go with you. Oh, okay. okay, so we should probably split up. Half of us go one direction, the other goes the other, and we'll meet back at the, uh... Alright, how should we split up? Um... Should it be, uh, pulsies and non-pulsies? <laughs> um, uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Sucker suckers and non-suckers? Like, shirts versus skins? No. Um... <laughs> Why don't you go with your retainers and take Vesper, and I'll go with these two. Uh, if you, okay, we can switch places if you want, Vesper. Um, sure. <laughs> I just didn't want to separate separate him from his retainers. Right, that makes well, sense. Well, I mean, there are other vampire fought with tinkers. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> that sounds fine. All right, so split up how you're doing the teams. So that, and then David with the vampires. Okay. Because right now we think they're trying to kill David. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. So like, wait, no, that's not a good idea. <laughs> I completely blanked. Oh, right. I wouldn't know that yet, anyway. No, you wouldn't know that. That's something that means uh, Sylvia. No, thinking. Kimberly. <laughs> it's okay. She's having a good time. <laughs> She's getting eaten. Oh god. Like your leg! Yeah. Or my arm. No, just keep it Can Rancher's heads grow back? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but this cookie might have caused me an arm and a leg. Oh, shit. I, I just, I'm sorry, I had an idea for a future one I have for right there. Oh, God. Oh, look what you've done. Oh, no. Is this gonna be like the knife sharks again? Yep. Stop giving him fodder. Yeah. I can't help it, it's who I am. <laughs> He's too happy. Oh, oh, no. That's concerning. When you hear the DM giggle like that, you know you're in for some shit. Such a stupid idea. I can't wait to do it. Okay, <laughs> then. Great. So I guess we just start walking. Uh, what team do we yeah, follow so first? David, you have tracking skills. So you can make a roll for that. Okay. Nine, Nine plus... What would it be? Um, knowledge nature? Yeah, or if there's survival. Okay, there is survival. They're both the same. Plus one. Yeah, and your wisdom. Plus one, plus three, so plus four. Plus four, 13. so thirteen? Yeah, that's partial. Okay, you spend some time examining the currents, and you think, okay, presuming that she didn't swim under her own power, she would have been washed up north of you. So I guess we head north. Yeah. And we go in the opposite direction of that? Mm-hmm. 
other yeah, way. Yeah, just just in case she didn't. Yeah, since we're power. splitting the party a third time, sure. Yay! Um, it's either that or we stay. So. So, you know what? Everyone, roll a dice. Let's see. Just what's uh, Vespri and David roll a dice. Let's see. Who gets higher to who do we follow first? Okay. Three. Nine. <laughs> right, so you go off with the, the presumably safety of the vampires. Mm. And right, I'm taking a nap. They're less likely to kill you anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I'm safer with the vampires. <laughs> it's something that doesn't seem like it should be accurate, <laughs> but apparently it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I mean, at the very least, they have a walking snack. Mm, yeah. That, that's, if they get desperate. That's what David is good for, he's a snack. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm a snack and I'm tiny. For dudes. <laughs> Whatever. Take it where I can. What are you doing, Baxter? Thank you. <laughs> Not bothering the game for once. <laughs> it's true. It's so rolling down south. Basically, it's just very sandy for as far as I can see. You realize that. Uh, so there's pretty much not to see. You don't see much there. You do see there are the remnants of what appears to be some long and aged float and that that has long since been picked over. Okay. For indication there have been other wrecks here okay. on the island. Okay. And pretty much you're just going with Smite the Holy and Axtor. Okay. If you kill them, nobody will care. <laughs> Remember, yes. there's no cops in the beach! <laughs> <laughs> Technically we can't, because we need them. <laughs> we can kill them when we leave. So, um... On I don't oxygen. mean... We let the hy- we, Yeah, we, we left them with the hyenas. <laughs> so just when we split up the team right at the end. Oh, God. I don't mean to harsh the buzz and the vibe of this. For one, island. Very spooky. <laughs> Spooky. Uh, literally, I think this may be one of the more cursed places I have come across. Literally. Uh, other point, when do we think that we can get to the sword ritual power? When we found Cathil. Okay, that seems fair. Can you put up beacons? So that way if Cathil is able to... They can come back. Oh! That might literally be the best idea I've ever heard. <laughs> we really thought we had just <laughs> thought of that while we were at camp. <laughs> um, Axtor, Excuse me. Axtor raises the staff and just fires off effectively a flare <laughs> up into the sky. Let's hope there's no giant monsters on this island that you just rang the dinner bell for. Basically. Not quite what I meant, but... Yeah, well, there, now she's at least sure to find where we are. Okay. Something like that. So, should we keep looking or head back to camp to wait? Um... What do you feel like? Let's look a little bit further. Okay, um... With the flare going oh. off, you're going to hear... Uh, some rumbling coming out of the woods. Okay. And yeah, you're gonna see a large humanoid figure kind of moving out of the brush, swiping okay. it away with a club. Okay. And is it another cyclops? Looking up in the eye, it is another cyclops. Great. Great. It is significantly smaller than, than the, the other one. ones. Okay. A baby? Yeah, it's a baby cyclops. Oh. <laughs> the baby! Oh. Uh, uh, you trying to figure out what it's going to oh, be? Oh, shoot. Yeah, perfect. Oh, no. Aww. <laughs> it's an 
astronaut. <laughs> it's actually a cyclops. Fantastic, yeah. It's an astronaut cyclops. Yeah. So, it's its eye is up there. Distinct things that you notice. Its skin is much more terrestrial based than the ones you saw in the water. Okay. It lacks as prominent... It ha still has tusks, but not as prominent there, and its eye is not generating the constant spotlight. Ah. This. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a different pride. Yeah. Mm. So it looks up. Mm. This one is also carrying a club and has a large sack that appears to be made out of woven leaves and hide. Okay. And it has a bundle. Yeah. So we won't be doing that again. Yeah. Uh, you don't know if it's spotted you because its eye is seemingly fixated on the flare that it's following out of curiosity. I motion go around it. <laughs> Alright, so roll stealth. Well, oh, jeez, why don't I even bother you? My stealth is only one. Huh. Yeah, I don't have a high stealth. It's my acrobatics that's stupid. Yeah, odd for a science, I guess. <coughs> a new three I guess four. you're more of just the, like, Vinny the gnome sends his regards! <laughs> yes. Uh, that was a three plus... Also my dex, or...? That would be your dex. Okay, so that's three plus six, so nine. Yeah, so you immediately stamp and attempt to sneak back up into Atstar, who falls over. <sighs> while generating the flare, while about to fire off another flare, which then goes off about a few feet away from you, very much drawing the Psychox's attention. And now it is, like, scared and waving its club at the light and sees you. And, like, lowers the club into position, grabbing it with both hands, and is looking at you, sniffing, its eye darting around, falling on all of you. Can... Are the flares giving enough light that it doesn't need light vision? Night vision. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have or good not. night vision. They probably don't have good night vision. Yeah. Okay. I would like to tell Axter to put the flares out. Well, it's like... <laughs> once they're generated, they're just gonna keep burning for a while. Oh, God. Okay, so I turn to the other guy who's Smythe. No, Axtor. Because uh, Smythe the Holy is the one who can't talk, right? No, Axtor can't talk. Axtor. Smythe very Smythe much can talk. Okay, right. He's the... Okay. Yeah, uh, Smythe is the annoying one. Yes. It's not as big as the others. <laughs> Putting that in the pro column. <laughs> can you do something? Such as? I don't know. You had Holy in the boat before. Um... Just something that will take it out quickly. Or at least knock it down so I can stab it in the eye. Um... I can try! Um... You! Cyclops! Oh, no. no. Uh, um... Kneel before the power of Smythe the Holy! <laughs> okay, it doesn't understand what I'm saying. That's going to make this a lot harder. I would like to shoot it in the eye. Okay. <laughs> at least it's looking at you. Yeah, this is true. Eight plus dex. Yeah. Uh, and you're ranged. And you're ranged. <laughs> Oh. Which just go, it should be under the weapon. So it's 8 plus 6, which is... I can't math. 8 plus 6 is 14. 14. Yeah. Can I see a quick... Let's see if the weapon has... Oh, the weapon. Damage. For damage. Yeah, it's 8 plus 6. Okay. Okay, uh... Roll damage. Uh, so for the ranged, uh, 1d6. Mm-hmm. And that's it, yeah. 
One. The uh, it sees the bolt launch and jerks to the side, and it slices it just across its hide there. And the bad news is it doesn't seem to hurt of it hurt it. The good news is it doesn't seem to have hurt it enough for it to have registered that really as an attack. Oh, okay. But it seems. So it's not enraged, but it definitely saw that as hostile and is raising the club up more and it's continuing yelling at you. Okay. Run, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can you cast a spell? It's gonna be a lot harder since it doesn't know what I'm saying. That would have given a lot more. And I look to Axor, can you cast a spell? And Axor shoots a lightning bolt at it! That works! Just something. The lightning bolt hits it. Still damage, and now it is enraged and rushes at you. Oh, great. Uh, dodge? Yep. <laughs> So that's dodge index. Dodge! Two plus wow. two is four, plus five is nine. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Things have been better. Okay. <laughs> Six. So take twelve damage. Oh, fuck. Um, so minus twelve. Well, that's not good. Well, that reminds me. I have written down here as my wounds for seven. Should I clear that or not? Nope! Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Uh, I return. I the other two wisely it. jump out of way, and Cathiel takes a club uh -huh. and goes flying. Oh, great. Oh, goodness, I missed I mean, violence. Great. Yes, you missed violence. Cathiel basically got, uh, sorry, Vesper basically got golf swinged by a Cyclops uh, club. Nice! Which is like, much smaller than the other one. And sent flying into the air. Nice, nice. Yes. Like a wedge, which seems to be a good time that we should go to David at the vampires. <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> so David, while you two are walking, scouring the beach, you see that coming up there is the uh, shore is getting a lot rockier with jagged rocks, and you can see the uh, skeletons of some crashed ships in the distance. Okay. Behind you, you hear a large boom, and look over and see that a series of flares have illuminated the sky. We should probably go back and see what that is. Okay. <laughs> well, you're not with us. No. <laughs> well, sir. Oh! Well, I guess that was a good... I guess they thought they'd send up a flare so Cathiel knows where we are. And we don't know what's on this island. That seemed like a bad idea. It knows it. Well, whatever it is surely knows where on the island, though. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, we should probably head back towards it because I feel like that's probably trouble. Yeah. All right. So, turning around? Yeah. <sighs> what? Oh, no. He patted something. Uh, no, it's like, it's okay. You'll get your time someday, my pets. <laughs> Let me just cross off this section I have uh, labeled the Sea of Bones gone. Oh no. Since we're skipping that. Aww. How could you do this to him? I'm just I didn't know there was a Sea of Bones. You were su weren't supposed to. It was a surprise. <laughs> so, it's heading back and that's a lot less fun, so I assume you're going to rush there, so let's go back to Vespri. Okay. Uh, you're on the ground, <laughs> and the Cyclops is looming Are you over, my mommy? over Axtor angrily. Uh, oh, no. uh, Question for the audience, is Nigel in, in no, this part? No, yeah. no. I was looking forward to hearing the terror part. <laughs> <laughs> So, I thought of a smite. I have literally just thought of a spell that I can cast. Of course you have. Yes. Literally. And I'm literally. suddenly to get up. Yeah. Ugh. 
and he has cast a spell on himself called Expeditious Retreat, and oh darts God. off with supernatural speed off the beat, uh, back towards the camp. Of course he does. Uh, <laughs> I just look at uh, Axdor and just be like, the hell? What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Axdor gives you a look, kind of shrugs, and then just blinks and disappears. Oh. So, you're on your own. I'm on my own, because they're jackasses. <laughs> Don't worry, we're on our way back. Uh, okay, so he disappears. Yeah, he's basically teleporting away. Okay. He's night crawling away. Okay. Which leaves the Cyclops looks confused and then just finds you, sees you, and comes up towards you while you're still knocked down. Okay. I and get knocked down. We'll see, down. it's your turn. Uh, I slowly get up. Slowly, huh? Yeah, slowly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you try to get up, and it swings the club down. It doesn't hit you, but you manage to roll out of the way. Oh, good. You try it again. You're still on the ground. It's still over you. And it's rearing up for another swing. Uh... Which is a critical one. Uh... So, you are fortunate... You find your back up against a large jagged rock, which, upon observation, you realize is now actually the outcropping of a very large rib bone. Okay. And a si that go along the beach this way, and that there's a very large skeleton buried in there. Unsettling. You... Not having much time to reflect upon this important arthropod... Logical discovery. <laughs> <laughs> you roll out of the way as the club goes down, hits the bone, chips, and bounces back and hits the Cyclops in the face. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're not fluent in the language, but you're pretty certain you have heard the giant language equivalent of right in the freaking eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good. Oh. It has reflexively dropped its club as it's seemingly just rubbing its eye. Can I very slowly back away? Yes. <laughs> Do I need to roll? No, you okay. pretty much have free there. It's unaware of you. You can book it if you want. I would like to book it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So heading back to camp. Yes. Meanwhile, Dave is going right for the Cyclops. So here's the deal, David. You, of course, have reached back at camp, and there's Sylvia and Greg there. Did you find her? No, we saw a flare fired. We we're go we're heading towards. The flare, we figured if Cathil saw it, she's on her way there. They're on their way there. Yeah, well, that was a good idea. We should have thought of that first. <laughs> I mean, before we got there, but, you know, I guess at least no one had any damage. And then you hear the sound of what kind of sounds like large bags of sand almost being kicked up and thrown against some more sand. Concerning. <laughs> Ooh, running, 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 running! Smythe runs by you with supernatural speed and keeps going past the camp. <laughs> Axtor looks and gives you kind of a disapproving look beneath his cloak and teleports further away. And then you look as over the horizon you see Vespri running, followed by a giant, followed by a cyclops, <laughs> waving a club in the air angrily. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I say the word for my weapons, and I say to- what, what's Gomez's actual name again? Goes look. Bozar. Bozar. Throw me at the eye! Oh, uh, Leop! <laughs> <laughs> and I do- I try to do the viper thing into yep, the eye. roll acrobatics for that, because yeah. it gives you a good throw. Acrobatics, what would that be? Dex, right? Yeah. Well, it's nine, nine plus five, so fourteen. 
Okay, you don't get it right on the eye, but you land on the creature's shoulder, and it has noticed you. <laughs> it's trying to shake you off now. Roll strength. Oh no. Time for a strength contest to roll from being uh, knocked off this buckaroo. 14. Three plus its strength of eight. Okay. So you're still on it. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh god, here we go again. Just rhodium music. <laughs> Trick that one track is sexy! <laughs> Wait a minute, you think that track is sexy isn't uh, rodeo music? Mm, it probably is, but <laughs> that's the scary part. <clears throat> so, my fellow vampires, let us engage in the honorable art of the duel! Ha! <laughs> 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 just stab it at the leg? <laughs> yeah, he, go he goes down there and readies his right here. Aha! Gunk. <laughs> it's not seem to pierce the hide. Ah, oh, well done. <laughs> <laughs> good. Good, good, good. Good show. The other vampires around and are also attempting to strike at the legs while it's distracted, keeping a distance. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Fucking hell murder island. I know, right? Mm -hmm. It swings its club down and knocks one of the vampires clear into the air, into the ocean. Oh, that is, that's bad. Oh, yeah. They're never going to get the sat in the same way again. Uh, Vesprey. Uh, Her turn. So David's still on it, right? Yeah. Okay. Shoot her! <laughs> Shoot her! I guess I aim for the eye again. I really hope you get a good roll. I hope I get a good roll, too. Critical miss! She kills Stop it. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. 12 plus 5 is 17, and 1 is 18. Yep. Yep. Uh, is that a critical? No, it has to be a natural, I think. It's a critical for hitting this thing's eye. Okay. okay. So, critical is times 2 damage. Mm-hmm. 2 d6. Which is eight. <clears throat> oh, let's see how bad this is for it. And that ain't good. <laughs> so, the arrow goes into this thing's eye, and blood immediately starts spurting out of it. <laughs> the club is dropped, and the creature is now on its knees, screaming. <laughs> so it's my turn. Uh, roll another contest, and it's 20, so no. Uh. You're thrown up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> oh. At least you didn't die. Uh, so yeah, roll some acrobatics to see how well you land. Okay. So that's X. 16. Uh, yep. Not terrible. Ah, going, going, going. Gnome! <laughs> <laughs> So, at this point, from out of the forest, you hear more rustling as the sight. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Blood is now on the sand. Yes. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, no. Sandworms! Oh, no. Fuck. From the area David just arrived at, oh, God. you see what appears to be just a column of sand being thrown up. Shit. That then divides into two columns. And starts heading straight for the so and starts heading straight for you. David and Vespri make a dexterity. Five, ten. Fourteen plus five, nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Nineteen. 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 Ninete
Cut off their legs. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, things could be worse. Things could be better. It could be worse to be honest. <laughs> the Cyclops is on the knees and has been dragged down by the sharks that are just digging into it now. How far away are we from camp? You're at camp. You're, this is camp. This is camp. Okay. So, let's all just go with the, up north, shall oh, we? Sylvia is literally just crying. It's <laughs> one, five minutes! It's just five minutes! Why are they on land? No, it's land, shark, shark, land. No, no, shark, land. So let's go. Let, let's run north quick. Yeah. Well, you're. Are you? Is he still prone? Yep. Uh. I can't just get up. Um. I'm gonna okay. take an action and. Okay, I wasn't. Just I was gonna say I could just pick him up and then toss him over to Greg to carry him. David, slight problem. What? You were right on the Cyclops when it got shot. Oh no. Oh. oh yeah, oh, so I'm covered in blood. Oh! You see, from the same wake, the big ones seem to have gone there, but you seem to be, it's like, the heck are that? Of ti- I realize that they're tiny little fins oh, poking no. up out of the sand. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> the babies are coming! Oh no! <laughs> As there are a school of smaller versions of them jumping up into the air. They're little rats. They're baby land sharks. Yes. Oh. They like you, David. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Uh. Oh, damage! Take twelve damage as four as all four sharks jump up and just dogpile you, oh. dragging you to the ground. Jeez. Okay, so I'm down to ten. Ah! Okay. Um. But Sir seems to be briefly considering who he should hurt fur who he should help first before realizing, wait, that's the Cyclops, and running over to Dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, my friend, I got you. Shit, I should have some lunch. Uh, as he uh, all of this gnome before has made you hungry for lunch. Mm, Perhaps exactly. you should have ten pounds of meat. <laughs> Just one God. sandwich, ten pounds of meat. So a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a dolphin's worth of meat. Oh no. So I'm no longer encouraging this boar. Bozar has pulled one off uh. and has thrown it off you. Thank you. Best for your turn. Um can so Sylvia is still crying. Yeah. <laughs> Sylvia has had a rough time. <laughs> Uh, was it worth it, Sylvia? <laughs> was it? No. <laughs> this is your fault! <laughs> Actually, that feel like a Cathil thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so I go and help David as well. Um, because I don't think Sylvia is in any place of mind to try to cast a spell. So. That's pretty. Guess we got splashed with some blood. Oh, so did I. Great! Fantastic! Wonderful! Wasting away again and land shark read it. No. <laughs> no. 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 But, but me. land shark read up. Uh, you is trash! Oh my god. One I does jump trash. on you and oh, just deals and here. just deals three damage as you feel a bite at your ankle. Okay. And your ankles! <laughs> I am at 5 HP. So! We all suck right now. Yeah. We all hurt. So, does everyone think things are going bad right now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's probably going to get worse, isn't it? Yeah! Okay. So, who's your bodyguards on this? I would think Greg is, but the only person who can talk to Greg is Sylvia. And well, Sylvia. I mean, it's like, who specially came along to be your bodyguards? The guy who ran away. Friend. Yeah. No, 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 you know, your good friend. And his retainers. Oh, those are. Yeah. Yeah. What are they? Vampires. What's that? Do they? There's a lot of blood everywhere. There's a lot of blood everywhere. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> 
shit. Oh god, well one of them's in the ocean. Bozar is knocked <laughs> down. He turned into vampire Batman. Oh god. As one of the retainers has freaked the fuck out with bloodlust and is rushing straight at Vespri's closest to him. Oh jeez. Oh no. God damn it, vampire Batman, calm down. So yeah, uh, roll a dodge or block, because he's gonna try to grapple you and eat you. Okay. Seven plus dodge two, which is nine, and dex and is yeah. five, is fourteen. Okay, so, yeah, he doesn't get a bite on you, but he has one arm and is struggling. You're locked in combat with him, okay. and the shark is biting your ankle. Great! This is a fun game! <laughs> Do I still have an action? Um, we could dob it in action. Okay. All right. <laughs> I've still got these three on Sylvia's me. Sylvia's just crying. We haven't even left the beach. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I use my flame axe on one of the little things. Okay, roll. Five plus. What would it be, Dex? Well, it should be just under your weapon. Oh, right. Minus one, <laughs> so four. <laughs> 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 Basically, you wave it, and how can I describe this any way other than just whack-a-mole <laughs> as they duck back down under the sand, basically swimming around you, cresting around it like it's water. Oh, my God. <laughs> you have gotten them off you, though, so there's that. Bozar is attempting to add Vesper. Man, control yourself! <laughs> Fear is the mind killer, remember? <laughs> so unseemly it is trying to drag him off you. Okay. And got a one, so he is smacked away. Oh no. Okay. <sighs> if only he had some garlic. Vesper, your turn. <laughs> so I have one biting my ankle. Yep. And one is, and the vampire is currently grabbing my arm. Yeah. I... Somehow I don't think I should do more bleeding. Add more blood to everything. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Although if I did add more blood, he would at least go away from me because everything else would be attacking him. I don't know if you want to kill off your own party, though. That's true. That's the only problem. Okay. Um, I guess I will take out the, la the baby land shark. And yeah, that's the biggest threat. Go on. Well, no, well, it's either that or I kill the vampire, and then we don't have body well, parts. Let's see. There's a man trying to kill me, and also a chihuahua is biting at me. <laughs> okay, fine. No, no, no. Wait, wait, you could no. offer him the chihuahua. This is true. <laughs> I would give inspiration for that. <laughs> okay. So mark one inspiration so you can now freely take advantage on something else in the future. Okay. <laughs> And there. roll for it as Vespri reaches to pick up the, the shark, shark and shove it into the vampire's mouth. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. Good. I hope this rolls well. It does not. Oh. <laughs> I will use inspiration now. <laughs> and switch to a different dice. <laughs> 16. Yup. <laughs> it goes to bite you right off the neck and then gets a shark right in its mouth. <laughs> and backs up as basically its jaw is stuck open and it's trying to plunge the shark out of its mouth while pauses to drink from it. Mmm, <laughs> juice I'm, box! If I may make an adventure sound reference, you've solved my shark vampire puzzle. <laughs> Memo to self. Shark vampire. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe he'll drain it completely and there won't be anything well, left. Well, yeah, it's tiny. Yeah, yeah and also bloodlust. Yeah, so, he, he's basically just not even just drinking it. He is chomping down and yeah, eating it. Oh, wow. Yeah. He's hungry. Very hungry. Yeah. Okay. So, the other vampire that was knocked into the ocean has caught up. Oh, boy. Oh, no. And is seemingly attempting to... Or, more properly, has rushed up and from the bloodlust has grabbed and is starting to bite Sylvia. Oh, oh no! Oh, God. Ugh. Bozar got it up and it's like, well, 
That's bad. Yeah, just a bit. It's like, I'm gonna back up to make so I don't be a threat to you, my friends. Uh, <laughs> mm, okay. My prayers are with you! <laughs> my hopes and prayers! My thoughts and prayers! As he jumps prayers. further off the beach to get distance from the ver from the tempting, intoxicating blood everywhere. Right. Yeah. Okay. Greg might want to help so yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. oh, good point. Yeah, so there is Greg. Right there with her. And his Greg! Job, and his uh, job is to protect her, so... Yeah. So Greg has the vampire in the hand, and is basically pulled the vampire off of them, and the vampire has taken out a sword and stabbed Greg in the gut. Oh! Ah! No! <laughs> Everybody's going to suffer and die yeah. in this. No! <laughs> Greg's down wounded. Oh no! Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> so. Here's the thing. What if its own has been killed? Oh. And the shark's starting to circle around the area where this has happened. Seemingly mm -hmm. angry. Mm -hmm. And as just ducks below and the fin peers up and Vespri make a dodge. Okay. Uh, Nine plus two is eleven plus five. Uh, <sighs> Sixteen. You dodge as it charges you, and it's then turning around and you see it crest and then duck back below the sand. Mm, dodge again. You're missing. <laughs> no. Well, you don't know where it is right now. Oh, so it's completely under. David, action time. I know, I'm looking. <laughs> oh boy! No. Oh boy! Relax. Command undead. Oh, uh, shoot. oh! I'm sorry. I should replace this with oh. the other freaked out vampire form. <laughs> I'm going to use command undead to the one vampire guard that's attacking Vesper. Well, not attacking me now. But still. Yeah, was. Hmm. I'm going to use that spell. Okay. <laughs> so, so we're going to do a, I guess a charisma contest. Okay. Charisma, which is plus two, thirteen. Five. I shouted him, Calm the fuck down! Including the the fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wait. It's in bloodlust. This should be... So I'm going to say that the command... That you hold up the holy symbol with the command, and this has repelled it. And it stopped from attacking. All right. It's not under your command, but you have momentarily held it off. Okay. You hear Sylvia screaming as Greg is wounded and the vampire is over him, attempts to bite into him, recoils, spits out whatever it drained from Greg disgustedly, and turns back at Sylvia. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, the things to notice, oddly, is that the vampire's face is heavily burned from trying to drink from Greg. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sylvia screaming and Vespri, it's your turn. Okay. So I have David who's surrounded by little land sharks. Yep. And I have Sylvia who is about to get possibly eaten. Yes. And Greg is down. Oh, also, uh, David, four damage from the sharks attacking you. Okay. They're nipping at your heels. I don't know what to do. I have six health. Oh, God. We're not doing too good. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know what to do. Mm. Mm. The land sharks are basically staying underground for the most part, right? Uh, one is still feeding on the cyclops. Okay. Which is pretty much dead. Well, yeah, I figured that one's dead. Uh, he's gone. Yeah, he's dead, Jim. He's dead. Uh, I don't know what to do. Well, I'm just gonna shout at Sylvia to avenge Greg, because <laughs> if nothing else, she should get there her ass in gear. 
and I will uh, attempt to help, help David. Um, I don't think I can shoot them under the sand. But can I attempt to grab one as it tries to come out? Yeah. Okay. As always, you can try. Okay. And would that be a dex? Yep. Fifteen plus five is twenty. And then I toss it in the water. (laughs) 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 Well, that's one. Vampire's broken free of David's command oh, no. and just charging at you, Vesper. Great. And it like its eyes bulge out. See me. Roll a charisma oh, counter. No. Six. Yeah, that doesn't beat twenty-one. No. So your body goes limp and your eyes roll back. Oh, great. <laughs> You see, a similar thing has happened with Sylvia as the vampire is prepared to bite her, too. Oh, great. David! We die. <laughs> this is like, you're feeling that this is possibly the worst time when you hear the blood-curdling sound of howling laughter approaching. <laughs> oh, I know what that is, but I don't know what it is in character. Oh, God. So, I... I... Uh, so I, <laughs> I'm seeing the so vampires in the this. vampire see me and be seduced by OH MY GOD! <laughs> <laughs> see his tackled by three gnolls that come out of nowhere and start beating the and start beating him into the dirt. Oh my god. Kay? I'm here! The Kathiel is here. <laughs> Um, so my I'm idea here, for I am here. <laughs> Here's a question: When I cast things like holy light, it comes off of me personally, or can I make it an area of effect out within my line of sight, but not me? Uh, I'll say within like range of you, like you can touch something and cast it on that. Oh, okay, I was hoping I could cast near them, but I don't. I could. I can't touch them, so no. <laughs> Wait. Oh no. I grab one of the land sharks. <sighs> okay, this is inspired <laughs> enough. <laughs> Roll. Right. Yup. Yep. <laughs> I know enough. Cast holy light on the land shark <laughs> and throw it towards um the vampire. the vampire over here. Okay, roll for that throw. Nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> Behold, I am Dolphin, the vampire slayer. <laughs> so it's like a whole Twilight, like, Rob Stroker's Dracula, where he's about to just feed on Sylvia seductively and sexily. But quite ironically, a tiny shark comes flying, bites him right out the net, and is glowing in bright daylight. Ah! <laughs> There goes one! Uh. <laughs> Another one's getting his ass. Yeah, you just see, like, parts of cloak and stuff go flying from basically this cloud of sand of three hyena people mauling this vampire. Oh, great. Nice. Oh, jeez. Hashtag nice. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Okay. And I still have my one inspired throw. Yeah. So, Kafil, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> so, to resume there, your new friends upon your command of pointing out, you know, who's your friends or not, tackled yeah. the vampire. <gasps> there was probably an exchange of, if it's okay to eat them. And you're I like, probably, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and I you were okay, and it's like, you know what? His might actually grow back. <laughs> 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 I mean, desperate times. Bozar isn't here. Our other two guys aren't here. Yeah. Greg is down. Oh yeah. And Sylvia's not great. <laughs> there is a dead cyclops 
that is now basically just bloody bones that has been stripped by a combination of the large shark and just the swarm of the tiny ones. Oh boy. So. Looks like you guys had fun without me. <laughs> sure, <laughs> fun. Yeah. Um, so all we have to worry about now are the land sharks, I guess? Yeah. Okay. And David is still being attacked by the little ones, yes? Uh, or... yeah. Okay. And the other two la large land sharks are... One's gone, and the other one is mostly still feeding? Uh, it's feeding and now it's starting to circle. Oh, okay. Great. Great. Um, because they've attacked the vampire, am I still entranced? Oh, uh, no, you're snapped out of it with okay. a vampire concentrating. Thank goodness. <laughs> yes. As is Sylvia, who you see has picked up an oar, <laughs> broken it over her knee oh, no. to create it the five point, and is now just angrily straddling this burning vampire and stab it, attempting to stab it repeatedly at approximately where its heart should be. Okay. Good for you, Sylvia. Die! 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 <laughs> die! <laughs> so there's that. Yes. Um. Oh, what do I do? I never saw Paris. <laughs> <laughs> I saw okay. a tweet by Paris Hilton once. Does that count? <laughs> no. I'm just trying to think if I should go after the little sharks or do something about the big shark. Well, you wanted speed. I want something from you. <laughs> it's like, that is a nice shark. I got some knife hands already. I wonder what else I can get. Oh god. It's gonna feel by the end of this. I am the shark slayer! <laughs> I swear, this game, we're all, it's, it's gonna end when we're just at camp on interesting night. Yeah, like, we're yeah. not even gonna get anywhere with the sword thing, it's just battling no. to set, find a safe camp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. <clears throat> so, I guess what I'll do is, how far away is the large shark from me exactly? Um, you just see the fin. But it is there, and roll a perception, or basic. Let's say you can do intelligence on this. Seventeen. Okay. You're smart enough. I tried to stop it <laughs> myself, but okay. It's a, it's a good roll, so seventeen. You say that the fin there is not really moving with any purpose, and is starting okay. to duck down. You get the feeling that this animal is full, and oh, okay. will basically at this point leave if I'm molested. Okay, so I will leave the large one alone. Yeah. I'll go help David with the tiny ones. Okay. And just kind of try to pick up two of them and hold them from behind at arm's length <coughs> so that they can't bite me. <laughs> okay, roll for it. I'll try again with this one. I still love that I cast Holy Light on one of them and just throw <laughs> it. Let go of me! Go be caught. So, the, yeah. list, <laughs> the list of things that David has cast Holy Light on Pants. to kill Vampire Pants, <laughs> no, that himself, was... yeah. and a shark. Yes. <laughs> Sixteen. Yeah, okay, you have two sharks now. I'm just holding them up because I figure I don't want to piss off the one that's trying to leave, <laughs> that's planning on leaving, and I probably don't want to make more blood happen. No. There's plenty already. Please just I hold on see. to these because... Yeah, just I just holding, had a wonderful idea. Oh, I'm just no. holding them. I'm trying to like hold them from like yeah. the general area back in the neck okay, or something so they can't bite me. <laughs> right. That's uh, two gone. There's just one, David. Um, I try to grab the one. Okay. Two! Oh, mm. huh? You're not doing great, are you? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You're not doing great, are you? <laughs> I saved Sylvia. That's true. Yeah. So take two points of damage. Oh. I'm down to four. Oh no. As a shark has now bit, as a tiny shark has now bit in your arm. Which, considering David's size, means that you have a shark gauntlet on. <laughs> 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 oh. Great. Vespri. Yes. Roll dodge. Oh god. Dodge! Uh, actually, roll perception first. Perception. Okay. Uh, that's. Wisdom? Yeah. Oh, that's a nat 20. Fantastic. <laughs> you feel a rumbling under your feet. Okay. And see, and 
This is gonna go into whole like matrix slow motion, okay. tree of life shit. Oh, yeah, God. to detail. Oh, and you get and you get advantage on perception being an elf. Oh, so yeah, not that it matters, but we're going into the whole like slow down that you are the Arham Doom now. <laughs> what do your elf eyes see? Yeah, Everything. it just goes down and sees the individual greens like bouncing oh, up gosh. off of the sand, oh, like God. very slowly in the and, dark. And I yeah, in the dark. Well, there's a fire there, right, and the flare, uh. and <laughs> you effectively discern that the shark is attempting to come up right from under you for a jaw trump. Okay. Well, shit. Uh, I would like to jump up and fire at it. Well, one badass, so take an inspiration. <laughs> Take either inspiration or 19. advantage on from <laughs> um, I will save that inspiration for later. <laughs> and I gotta say that the shark isn't seeing this coming, so feel fr free to roll for your sneak attack. Okay. Uh, what was my sneak attack? Again? Just another, just another uh, straight attack roll. Okay. So that's. And basically, if it's fifteen, you get uh, two. Cho you get uh, two options. Fifteen and above, you get to add two bonus options. Okay. Ten and above, you just get. Well, since to it was one. a since it was eighteen to nine, eighteen to twenty, I get two d sixes, and then with the sneak attack, I can choose another d six. And it's three d six. Three d six. Due to <laughs> due to level advancement. Yeah. Um, and one other option, including making it bleed. Who's the next person to attack? I guess that would be Cathiel. Okay. Uh, they get advantage in their next attack then. That's the nice. only one I'm choosing. So my damage is four seven. Did you roll? Uh, what about the other two? The two d two for the sneak for the regular crit. Oh, and also another d two. Gosh, that's so many d's. Oh, d two. Yeah, your sneak attack. So at much d is three. Is three extra die. It's three extra die, and, and then, then just the two extra die for the sneak attack. Jesus. Eight. Seven. Duh. Or eight. Yeah, eight. Seven, so that's eight. fifteen. Yeah, nice. so... <laughs> again in the slow motion, Vesprey jumps up in the air, circles around with the crossbow, aims it directly down as the shark's mouth approaches, <laughs> fires the bolt, just threading straight the knee hole oh, all the way through it. As it goes up, like launching up into the air, you can see the arrow coming out the other end. Oh, God. <sighs> and going into the sand, and the shark, like just stunned and fo missing you and falling over on its side on the ground. Okay. <laughs> nice! <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that worked. It feels respect points. Um, <laughs> you hear, uh, you hear from behind you, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Nice. Okay. Just the literal video game <laughs> caption of like plus ten plus ten faction points of nobles. <laughs> All the respect. Yeah. Nice respect. Work. Okay. Achievement unlock shark thread. Shark needle. <laughs> shark needle. God. Oh jeez. Fantastic. <sighs> okay. So then, uh I'm just totally on to these two little guys. Yep. Um I know what I would do. <laughs> Gee, the mama shark is bleeding. I'm not going to have children feast upon their own mother. That's very mean. So are you. I'd say that you- I have some standards. I'd say that you could shove these things in your bag fairly safely. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I, won't, I won't let them feast on their mother. Instead, I will kill them and make them into clothing. Yep. Well- you didn't say kill them. I'm just stowing them. Yeah, for now. <laughs> I'm just stowing them. They may be useful later. Uh, okay. <laughs> Can I also take the one off of David? <laughs> oh yeah, if you wanted to, you would get whoever attacks the shark, the big shark next gets advantage on it. All right. I assume she killed it, but no, it's no. alive. It's okay. just and bleh. it's angry and is okay. very blooded. Because it just had an arrow go through its entire digestive tract. Ouch. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
I guess what I will do then, I'll have to put my sack down because. Yeah. <laughs> uh, after I put the babies in there, <laughs> and I'm going to take my axe and I'm going to go try to cut its head off, I guess. Yay! And so you get advantage so you can roll twice. Whoop, whoop. I have to roll again anyway, don't I? Or what? It was an 18. Okay. <laughs> We're good. Okay, you can roll twice. I mean, you might as well roll, see if you get the crit. Yeah. Actually, what is the crit on your axe? Because uh, the 18 might be okay. Uh, where do I find should be it? Should be on the first page. page. Oh, under your great axe. Under ferret axe. Or ferret axe. Signature axe look familiar. Uh, um, it says critical. Uh, critical. Uh, it doesn't say specifically. So okay, then it's just twenty. It's just twenty. Okay. So, but it does three times the amount of damage. So, do you want to roll again to see if you roll a twenty? Yeah. It is a plus three to my attack. Yeah. I mean, you get advantage no matter what, so you might as well. Yeah, okay. Okay. How did that happen? Well, it's the eighteen. Yeah, so it's, it's the eighteen. It's so the roll 18. damage. I got, I got a crit fail on the second one. I don't know how that happened. It happens. Okay, so. Good thing it's advantage. Yeah. Yes. Uh, which one do I roll again? It yeah. should say there. I think it's like two d six. Uh, two d eight oh, and a six. Two d eight. Two d eight and two d six. No, two d eight plus six. I think it is. Ah. Well, plus six. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So two D eight. Where's the here's the D eight? <laughs> oh yeah, because <laughs> she shame some things again. Because she basically has like the fucking blade from the pit of the pendulum yeah. on the stick with a ferret inside it. Twelve plus six, eighteen. Yeah. <laughs> so this thing gets briefly, disgustingly pukes out its meal that it just oh, ate. Oh dear. Said Ew. somebody tore its insides up. Yeah. And then from where it seems to angrily being ready, it's like, if I'm dying, I'm taking you down with me, then just takes an axe to the head. <laughs> <laughs> and goes limp. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm so glad. So things have gone calm now. The only thing you hear is just Sylvia still stabbing at the vampire. Hey. Uh, don't I have a shark on my arm still? Yes. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Dobbin, want to take care of that? Yeah, I do. I try to, I try to um, get the shark off my arm. Yeah, okay. We're going to 14. 14. Yeah, you get it off. Yay! And I throw it at the mother's corpse. Oh, God. No! <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> The baby eats its fill, and then disappears. Okay. You've solved my matricidal <laughs> shark puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> it's not matricide, she was already dead. <laughs> I was wanting to make sure he stayed- Matric cannibalism? Oh, God. <laughs> I see- uh Sylvia is yelling to David that Greg needs help. As meanwhile, she is looking very haggard, and there is a vampire whose corpse is burning away and turning to ash, as there's just an oar stuck through it and a shark still gnawing on its gnawing on the bone. Okay, so I can't. I, I, I the can't. shark did swims away into the sand, glowing as a holy beacon, <laughs> going off presumably to spread its holy light. Oh God! So I try. I I work on stabilizing and healing. Okay. Like, Two. Dude. <laughs> um. Uh. You look. Uh, this is a wound that's gonna take more than mundane medicine. You're gonna have to burn a spell. Okay. I'd rather use a spell then. Yeah. Eight. All right. You burn a spell on that. Yay. Greg is stabilized, but he's gonna need bed rest. Yeah. Okay. We all need bed rest. I just we yeah. definitely do. Yeah. I'm still injured also. <sighs> yes, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> the gnolls with like visible distended bellies oh, now. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I imagine they're like in like a dinner theater with all this happening. Yeah. <laughs> so I I summon everybody else else to us. Okay. And I just um mm -hmm. start working on healing. Yeah. Okay. Like mundanely healing, not and magically. And the gnolls are now in a frenzy of self-congratulation and adulation of themselves. Yeah, greatest! Yeah, 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 yeah. Nigel is just doing cross chops. 
<laughs> so he's uh, Luigi is doing yes. crotch chops at the oh, vampire yeah. corpse. Oh my god. <laughs> the others and the others have joined hands and are dancing around the corpse happily. <laughs> I assume Cathiel is probably trying to take bones from the Cyclops. Well, so we got Cyclops bones. bones. Cyclops bones and investigating shark. shark. Yes. And vampire and vampire bones now, which are yeah. I, I feel like I like Cathiel is tempted, but also that might be a little disrespectful. They were our bodyguards, after all, and it really sucks that they had to die. Because we need all the help we can get right now. <laughs> yeah. Also, once I'm done with the healing, mm -hmm. um, just my own knowledge, would I know of any healing properties of shark bone or cyclops bone? Roll for it. No, nope. Nope. <laughs> you don't know oh, shit. <laughs> well, I'm just going to take whatever looks good. Drop it's like... I'd have to consult a Greeky expert, but, um, so Bozar has approached there, it's like, well, eh. um, has it's like, like just looks over us? at the yeah, yeah. So, corpses yeah. there and said, well, that's a bugger. Um... Also, I assume that besides socializing for the game, mm -hmm. we're just going to take a day to rest on the beach to try to heal our wounds a bit. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Take, well, a, take, a, take a day of rest. How so, many days did we have before the merchant comes back? I think we had a week. Oh, yeah, a somewhere. week. Yeah, because okay. they have to, I guess, make port somewhere else and yeah. make their way back. Yeah. <laughs> so we do have time. Okay. Just to be sure. Mm. Alrighty. So we take a day of rest. Yes. And frankly, mm. it would have taken about a day for us to fight and yep. heal anyway. So heal up your wounds. Yay! Yay! We're back up to full. So, I need an eraser. here's the thing. Same. You now have three gnolls hanging out with you. Okay. I make introductions. And I say, they're cool guys. Right, guys? <laughs> You're going to be cool, right? We're all going to be cool. <laughs> great. Let me get the appendix. All right, right, right. right. Okay. Just to impress, I'm not telling anybody that they totally eat people because I'm sure they've already seen for one and for another a reminder to them. <laughs> also, <laughs> not the people you eat. Also, <laughs> while we're socializing, I apologize to Bozar for what happened to his retainers. If it helps, if it makes you feel better, I kind of suspected they were planning on killing you. Ah, much better. And then I'm over here like. Well, now I don't feel bad, and I'm going to go pick some bones. <laughs> teeth, if there are any. I mean, they were eager to volunteer, and they were from the Vampire You Killed's clan, so they might have wanted a blood oath uh, to be repaid. Ah. And now I don't feel bad. I was fairly confident I could have kept them under control, but... And that's why you didn't mention it? I'm almost certain... I'm absolutely certain I did mention it to David. Yeah, and it's, it's been so long since we've played. Ah, okay. <laughs> that I that I did forget about that. Oh, okay. And Smythe and Axtor have returned there, and Smythe, I knew you could do it. Absolute one hundred percent faith in you. Everyone, good job. You should all be incredibly proud. I think today we have all been the best us. Bullshit. Yeah, you possible. Yes, you've been the best cowards that could possibly be imagined. I went looking for extra aid. Bullshit. Oh, where did because it come from? I'm the one who brought aid. And I wasn't even trying. Mitch was drawn by the flare. So, I think what you're trying to say is... No. Thank you. No, I'm not. I'm really not, actually. You are very welcome. <laughs> I, I'm not thanking you. You, cause I you got me a ten pounds of meat. <laughs> also, the absolute worst thing you could do in a shark attack is add more blood. So, I was attempting to draw the little sharklings further away from us. And Wait. yet you're not bleeding, are you? No, I was very successful. In failing to draw them away. You are very welcome. <laughs> don't have a mage. So, you know what's Fine. you know what's good that we kill the cleric. You know what's good Fine. about you know what we could do at a game I'm saying this. Yes. Well, we did promise the gnolls passage home. Yes. But 
And we only but you for... now have two seats free. Well, yeah, we, we have two. Yeah, we have two seats free. We need one more. No <laughs> fight. <laughs> what about? Let, 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 let's wait until after. Jeez, this fucking sword. went to from zero to <laughs> to Lord of the Flies quick. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Kill the shark, drink its blood. Cathedral would just be like, okay, listen. If we're gonna do this, let's wait until after we do Kill the sword. Obviously. I just said said this out of game, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah. But, but if it were mentioned in yeah. character. But for now, just we're socializing and resting and Cathedral's mm -hmm. cleaning up everything that they believe. So Bozar is basically <laughs> gathering up the mold bones of the one that was eaten, because he said he'll eventually get better. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I mean he wasn't killed in any of the way vampires need to be. Right. And then I just the, get... the other one, he's not coming back. Well, he was staked. So. Yes. And, and burned and by burned. holy light. So this, yeah. Yeah, he's gone. Not just burned by holy light, but bitten by holy light. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, like, I feel just like Thumbs up to the gnolls. Good job, Thumbs. Look, you got vampires, to <laughs> vampires die all the time, sometimes yeah. just for our own amusement. It's mm -hmm. like a long nap, but... Here's a question. There's death, and then there's really dead. <laughs> now, here, here's a question. If there were any bones missing, and I looked to deal with a knowing look... Hey, I went for the burned one I first. said, if there are any bones missing, will, 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 will that negatively affect their regeneration? Huh. Well, I guess we'll find out. I mean, we're just gonna... I've just gotta take him home and, home and bury him, and then... In a hundred years or so, he'll be good as new. He might be missing a rib or a leg. It won't be our problem in a hundred years. So, no. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Do um, vampire teeth work out nicely on a uh, we ed weapon edge? They look like they could. Uh... Do you want me to put them on a Like, if you're looking at Bozar, he's like, there's no there's no city guards in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just basically saying, fuck this guy, they wanted to kill me anyway. Yeah. I'd accept that. Yeah. So you take yeah. its teeth? Yeah, yeah I, 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 I take the teeth figuring, if I don't make them into a weapon, I can sell them to our good friend, the taxidermist. Now, I warn you that removing a vampire's fangs definitely would not regenerate when he comes back, and would be seen as akin to a symbolic castrating, which is both incredibly humiliating and hilarious. Good on you. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to try to kill David, so fair is fair. Yeah. yeah, there's that. Fair is fair. Hey, right, fair is fair. You do what you gotta do. You roll the bones, and that's how they cut out. <laughs> sometimes you bite, sometimes you're bitten. <laughs> sure. <laughs> So my question now is... I like him! <laughs> my question now becomes, do we continue on or do we call it here? Uh, it's already been about two hours. It's 1.25, 26. Do we want to, like, at least take a break for lunch or what? Yeah, why don't we take a break for lunch? Yeah. Get some foods. And they will have their time to rest while we have our time to refuel. Correct. Um, Although, I have to ask. Um... What would I get from these two corpses? Aside oh! from vampire bones and teeth. So, I'll say if you're using... I, I took the teeth. You got, I took it from the other one. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. So, you have, and I'm just going to say you can leave this with Sylvia, so it's packed in gear so you don't have to haul it. You yeah. have basically uh, a set of shark jaws. Nice. If you want to take the work to boil the cartilage... <clears throat> I mean... Uh, if you I'll could get, get that. Cool. Otherwise, you just have uh, now shark skin okay. that can be tanned for leathering or used in armor, and it's heavily plated since this is a creature known as a bullet or nice. a land shark. Nice. Yeah. Okay. I will take those things and cartilage. I can't remember if boiling cartilage does anything other than turn it into glue. I mean, glue would not be would be useful, and yeah, it's I'm alchemy just, stuff. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna just make myself some glue. Yeah, yeah. so just add... <laughs> so just give yourself eight units of... Glue? Yeah, glue or animal cartilage if you find something else to do with it. Okay. You can keep that then. So, okay, I have another one. Okay. 
There's nothing left of the Cyclops. You know, the eye probably would have been valuable, but... But we shot it. You shot it. <laughs> it was eaten by land sharks. Yeah. Yeah, you have uh, pretty much just the teeth left from the other vampire, because the one that's deader than dead, it, his bones are even too brittle to move and just kind of oh, okay. gone. Okay. Uh, let's see, I think that sums it up. Oh, wait, yes. The gnolls take the uh, surviving baby land sharks that you got, okay. and with their own inventiveness, use the rope that they have made from animal gut and vine to tie them onto their spears, making what they call chompy sticks. <laughs> Good, good. <laughs> Fantastic. So the gnolls have chompy sticks. So, you know the scene from Labyrinth? With the goblins that have the little ones there? They've made those weapons. Okay. Nice, Fantastic. Nice. Anyway, right. shall we get sandwiches for lunch? Yes. Sure. Let's We're get a delicious Quiznos. Quiznos. No. We're going to take a break. We may or may not be back with part two. See you later. Bye. Bye.